Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 138. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard 138. This problem that we're about to do, 138, is very similar to number 137. If you have watched 137 already, try doing this problem on your own first. I'm going to read the problem to you. Once I've read it, pause the video, solve the problem yourself. It's just like the ones that we did before, 137. Once we have solved it, once you have solved it on it all, on your own, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds' time. All right? Here's the deal. We are told that we have two people, A and B. A and B, we are told, begin a game with equal amounts. When A has lost 7 11th, 7 11th of what he began with, when he has lost that much amount, 7 11th of the amount, when A had lost 7 11th of what he began with, at that point we are told B had won $3 less than twice the amount that A had left. Not what A had lost, but A had left. Let's put that in a capital letter. At that point, B, B had won $3 less than twice the amount of money that A had left. Question simply is, what did they start out with? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first, okay? Here we go. So we have two people, A and B. And what do we know about them? We know that they have both started out with the same amount of money. So here we go. Here we have A and here we have B. And we both we know that they both began with X dollars, let's say. Their starting amount. Let's call it X dollars. They both started out the game with the same amount of money. Then what happened? We are told that A lost 7 eleventh. He lost 7 eleventh of the money that he started out with. If he lost 7th 11, 7 11, how much does he have left? This is 11 11 minus 7 11. He has 4 11, 4 11 left. This is how much he has left. At this point in the game, the amount of money that A has left is 7, 11, 4 11, 4 11 of what he started out with because he has left, because he has lost. This is the amount of money he has left because he has lost. 7, 11. 7 and 4, as you can see, is 11. This is how much is left. What happens at that, po at that point in the story? We know that at that point in the story, we are told that B had won. At that point, obviously, if A has lost some money, B has won some money because those are the only two people playing it. We are told that B has won $3 less than twice the amount of money that A has left. Forget about this part right now. Forget about this part right now. Don't, don't look at it. $3 less than twice. $3 less than... Forget about the three dollar less part. Forget about this part. Pretend it doesn't exist, okay? We, we, at that point we are told that B had won. Let's pretend that it is twice the amount of money that A has left. A has left this much money. A has left this much money. At that point B had won twice the amount of money that A has left. Therefore B must have won two times the amount of money that A has left which is 411. 411x rather. 411x. Now at this point, once once we have taken care of this part, now we go and take care of the nitty gritty, the details, which is B had won not twice the twice the amount of money that A had left, but rather three dollar less than that. B had won, we are told, three dollar less than this amount right here, three dollar less than twice the money. So it's not this. This is this is not the amount of money that B has won, but rather three dollar less than that. So subtract three from it. This is it. This is the amount of money that B had. B has won. This is the amount of money that A has lost. This is the amount of money that A has lost. But the amount of money that A has lost. And the amount of money that B has won, since these are the only two people playing it, these two have to be equal. There is your equation. We have to solve this equation. The equation is, forget about this negative sign because this is we were subtracting it. That's not the point here. The amount of money that A has lost 
7 11th of x has to equal 2 times the amount of money that a has left which is 4 11th x 2 times 4 11th x minus 3 this is the simple linear equation is what we have to solve and that's all there is let's do it together we'll do it on the top okay it'll be easier we can should do it on the top or should be Let's do it on the top. So the equation that we have is this part right here. 7 11th x has to equal 2 times 4 11th x minus 3. Minus 3. What can we do here? Well, this one has a denominator of 11. This one has a denominator of 11. If, if we can somehow introduce a denominator of 11 to this third term, then they will all, the entire equation will have a denominator of 11. And at that point, we can ignore the denominator because it plays, it, 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 it ceases to play any role. Let's introduce a denominator of 11 over here to 3 by multiplying 3 by 11 over 11. There we go. And now we can, not, now we don't have to worry about the denominator. We can just look at the top part, which is 7 times x, which is 7x. 2 times 4 which is 8 times x so it's 8x minus 3 times 11 which is 33 this is a very simple equation actually bring the 33 to this side bring the 7x to that side and you will find that x equals 33 and that's all there is very simple very straightforward we need to verify it we need to verify it let's make sure let's make sure that it actually makes any sense the amount of money that a has lost is this one 7 over 11 times x which we are, which we are claiming that it is 33. This amount better be equal to the amount of money that B has won. How much is this amount? 11 is going to cancel out with 33 by 3, which means A, A has lost $21. A has lost $21, which means B must have won $21. Does this, does this work out to be $21? Let's find out. 2 times 4 over 11 times 33 minus 3. Again, 11 is going to go with 33 three times. And we're going to have 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 3. You see? 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 20. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 3 is indeed 21. Which means our answer is correct. That's all there is. That's how simple it was. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.